Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 24th Excel 2007 tutorial. And today's should be a fairly quick uh, tutorial. What I wanted to do is just share with you some common keyboard shortcuts and some of these are pretty obvious and some of them you may not know. And then another way, another thing I'm going to show you is how to use the alt keys and how to, uh, you know, develop your own Mac, uh, de develop your own um, shortcut keys. So, with that said, I'm going to jump right in here. So, a couple really common ones are Control C for copy and Control V for paste. For example, hold down the uh, whatever cell or cells you have highlighted, Control C, click wherever you want to go, Control V. Okay, we'll paste it. So, what I want to do there, um, one thing I want to show you is Control B will bold that. And I'm going to hit Control B again and it will unbold that. Um, cell and then if I want to undo something I'm going to hit control Z I'm going to keep hitting it to keep undoing it and then I'm just going to hit escape to get out of that so control Z is real handy to use the um, instead of clicking up here and undo uh, so F4 is a handy feature um, a handy uh, thing to use so if I say um, let me just make up a couple numbers here and I put and I always say equals C7, this cell, times this cell, and I hit return, it'll do that for me. But let's assume that I always want, if I copy that formula down here, let me copy it down right here. So you can see what happens, it took C8 times C7. Well, what if I actually wanted this one to always reference C6? I always wanted... Um, I always wanted an absolute reference to a specific cell. So how I could do that is I could go there, let me hit highlight that, hit delete. Then I click that cell and then hit the F4 key and it will automatically put those dollar signs in front of it. So now if I copy that formula down, it will always reference the C6 cell. Obviously some of these don't make sense here. But I will delete those, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, another uh, thing you can do is Control F2 would do Print Preview. Rather than having to go in there, I'm going to Escape. Control Print will print. Uh, Control Home will take you to the A A1 cell, no matter where you're at in your spreadsheet. And then uh, this is kind of, um, let me skip over Control Shift Arrow. Uh, control F1 minimizes the ribbon. Okay, Control F1 brings it back. Uh, another thing you can look at, this is kind of neat. If you want to do some formatting, you know, you can highlight cells and then you can right click it and say format cells, or you can highlight cell or cells and just hit Control 1 and it will bring up the format cells options for you. Okay. Um, Control shift arrow is kind of a neat thing. If you have a big row of, well, let me just use autofill to fill this in. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to autofill this in all the way down to 600 and something rows. You highlight the first cell and then what you do is you hit control, you hold down control then shift and hit the down arrow and it will highlight every cell that ha has data in it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that the same thing works if I were to do control shift right arrow key left arrow key and so forth so uh, makes it very convenient for highlighting uh, a whole you know a very large range of cells and the next thing I want to show you is how all shortcuts work so you'll notice in, in Excel 2007, if I want to if I want to bring up these menus without using my mouse, I can do Alt, and you notice you get all these options up here. So there's one, two, there's numbers, and then there's other um, uh, categories here. So if I wanted to go Alt, and then I wanted to do Insert, I would type N, and then if I wanted to do Shapes, I would say SH okay and it will bring it up okay and that's the example that I gave you here alt NSH 
and I'll do it again quickly though alt and sh and there it is um, but you can develop that for anything that you want to so if you want to uh, um, do something with data you could do that you could go to oh sorry alt a and then you know text to columns remove duplicates so you could develop your own shortcuts here and then uh, alt f11 I'm gonna hit escape Alt F11 will bring up the macro box for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And that's all I wanted to share with you tonight. Uh, just some common uh, shortcuts and a way to develop your own shortcuts that you use in everyday use. Thanks for joining and please subscribe. Uh, next thing I wanted to tell you is uh, I'll probably start a, an intermediate or more advanced Excel um, series probably be a couple weeks from now but I'm also going to start on some PowerPoint uh, tutorials and hope to uh, see you back. Thanks. Bye.